29th, the middle of the holidays. We were under the bridge. We woke up to December a complete, 29th. Yes, last year, uh, uh, last year right. uh, 2016. Right. We woke up at approximately 8:30 in the morning to a, a barrage of LAPD. Uh, more than I can count. Right here in this 40, spot. 50, under the bridge, all around this whole thing, hovering. And uh, they immediately went and arrested all the men, cuffed us all up. Right out of our tent, right early, we were brought to this concrete pad, roughly where I'm standing. You know. Anyway, five hours later, sitting in the sun, here, still cuffed, then took us to the police department, put us in a holding room all together for another two hours, cuffed. I was in cuffs almost eight hours, so they finally took them off. You were the first one out there, I remember. Uh, I was the first one out because I, I did not lie about a drug addiction. I did not lie about heroin and my usage. And I told them, there are things you're going to need if I'm going to abruptly stop using heroin and be incarcerated. I'm going to need some things to help me sleep, help me with my, my GI, my you know diarrhea, uh, some other things to help me with indigestion. And, uh, and they said they didn't have any of it. So and and right, well, right, right on cue at about 22, 23 hours, I get this guttural moaning and groaning. I get nauseous. I start throwing up. Um, after throwing up some 15 to 20 times and then moving me a couple of times, the watch commander came down and said, if I cut you loose, will you be all right? And I said, yes, sir. And he said, get Craig White out of here in the next 10 minutes right at the back door. Escort him to the back door and cut him loose. And they did. Taking the law into their own hands. There is no law that says I am not allowed to just go underneath the bridge. They are manipulating that that municipal code. You and I both, David, read that municipal code, and it's entirely legal for me to be there from 9.30 at night right. to 6.30 in the morning right. with a tent. Right. The deal is that my tent is broken down by 6.30 a.m., and I am mobile. Now, they can't just decide to put signs up. Somehow they did. Some councilman, retired councilman, was involved. Uh, you know, strings pulled. There were people that said he would never pull this off last year. We are standing on California state property. This property is not regulated by the city of Los Angeles. It is controlled and, and regulated by the state of California. Right, that's why Caltrans are the ones that's, that took your stuff. Well, they are the department that that repairs well, the sprinklers. They these, uh... Their job is not, though, to handle homeless people. They are not They are not trained, or do they know how to deal with people. They're here to plant and, and fix sprinklers and take care of the bridges. They, they lied in wait on Friday morning. They lied in wait for us to go out. And the moment that the three of us went out of our two campsites, they pounced. And they pounced to startle us, to scare us, and, and it worked. They put me in a tailspin Friday. All of my belongings are gone again. I worked so hard to get everything back. And here I am again. This is all I have in the world right now. Is that your t- this this over there? Right here. Is that your t- no, that's not mine, just right here. Wow. Th- this is me you all over again. Blanket? No, I have nothing, no sleeping bag, no sleeping bag.